a friend's laptop, so see we can get get done. Let us be uh doing that. Okay, so what you want to do is we're going to just delete the previous installation and reinstall it. So what you got to do is uh, press, it'll say to set up Windows XP now press enter. But also it, underneath that it says to repair a Windows XP installation using recovery control press R. And under that it says to quit setup without installing Windows XP press F3. Well, we're going to want to install it right now. So we're going to press enter. So after that, you're going to want to press F8. Uh, see, and then what you want to, then after that it says, if one of the following Windows XP installation is damaged, setup can be, can try to repair it. Use the up and down arrow keys to select an installation. To repair the Selected Windows XP installation press R to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows XP without repairing it press escape and That's what we're going to be doing so I press escape Then on the that it says the following list shows the existing parts it and Unpretend space on this computer Use up and down arrow keys. It's like that. It's basically saying the same thing what they're going to want you to do it says to set up a Windows XP on selected item, press enter. To create a uh, part tab in the unpresent space, whatever, press C. To delete the selected part, press D. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete. Then you press enter. And then you press the letter L. Now now there's nothing on the hard drive. So you, what you want to do is, what you're going to want to do is I press C. Then I press enter, then I press enter again, then I go up one to quick, and then there you go, it's going to start loading. Ten minutes on YouTube, so I'm going to try to fit as much in as I can within the ten minutes. Installations your computer. Okay, now it's re uh, it's rebooting. So Okay, now it's in, uh, it's installing it to the hard drive, Windows XP. It's at, uh, 39%. I'm gonna try to get a little close up in it. See if you can see. Get a little close up. Okay, as you can see. I'm gonna put my camera back on my tripod. Okay. Okay, so. It's at 39%, so remember I'm going to be cutting it short, so we're just going to Okay, 
This guy is at 30 minutes. Is that now? Okay. What you wanna gonna wanna do next is, is uh it's gonna ask for some a little information. So you're just gonna wanna hit next. Then it's gonna ask for a name, a user's name that you wanna put on there. I'm just gonna put PC. Then it's gonna ask you for an organization now. I usually just put that INC. Or you can put your name that INC. Then I hit next, next. Now it's gonna ask you for the time and date. But since uh, it's November 1st, 2009, now it's, we get daylight savings time, I believe. Now we gotta go back, we gotta, it's not 5.38. It's 4.38. And we take it from Pacific time to Eastern time. Then you hit next. And then uh, it's going to go eat a little bit more. Okay, we're at 19 minutes, so... Okay, we're at 16 minutes. So... Okay, so uh, if this comes out, you want to press OK. Okay, so when this comes up, you're going to want to hit Next. Then hit Help Protect My PC by turning Automatics on. Okay. Then you want to hit next. Then you're going to want to put uh, your name in. But this PC, this laptop, the driver didn't install right. So usually it'll come up and it'll be like something for registering it. But I, I'll show you that once I... Uh, once I get the drivers hooked on it, I'll register it and then you, you'll see that it works. Because right now the connection ain't hooked up. So it's wireless and then it's got the, the, ether, the ethernet wire. And I got the ethernet wire plugged in, but I guess the driver's not hooked up.